Hi everyone, today we're going to be fixing the USPA 6800. This is the bio bidet, also known as, and basically the toilet seat broke. As you can see here, it has a hinge and it has kind of a, uh, a weak spot right there. Now you can see that I tried to glue it with the uh, resin, expanding foam. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. And the problem is that over here, the connector is buried inside the main unit. So I could take this out, it's about um, eight wires, and I could uh, solder it or crimp it, but because the connector piece is um, inside there, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. And unfortunately that does require me to get my hands a little bit dirty. All right, so we've got our gloves on, and we are going to first shut the water because it will be quite the mess. Now, one thing, one little tip here is, uh, if you want to install a shutoff valve, now is the time because the shutoff valve will allow you to service the unit, clean it, etc. But I know, it, I don't know anyone that cleans their bidets. So the shutoff valve is now shut. We're going to flush the toilet. That is going to release the water that's inside the line. Okay, so that should release the water. It doesn't release all the water, but that should release most of the water. Okay, this will pop right out. You need a lot of water though, so have a plastic bag to dump the water nearby. Now we're going to unplug it, and we just slide the tray forward, and that will expose the mending plate, as I call it. Now the unit is quite heavy, and of course it has a water reservoir, so you're going to want to empty that as well too. And of course you're going to want to clean around the toilet, because this is the only opportunity to clean around the toilet. It has a flat screwdriver or a pin. So either of those. And then this is the dust, the dust uh, filter for the vent. All right, so now we're gonna work here. Uh, we've got, we put this down here. Now keep in mind, I did not drain this. Okay, so the, the unit, you may wanna drain it. This is the spot for the drain plug here. And then now we're just gonna open it and fix it. All right, so there's a couple of screw holes. There's four, actually. Um, and they just pop out. I think I'm getting one. And you can actually see the marks of the screwdriver. You know, one, two here. I can see the screwdriver marks. So I'm on that step. Let me find that step. So these are the screws here on the bottom. They do not have the screwdriver icons. So you're gonna have to be careful here. And just gonna pry it up a little bit. Pretty cool, pretty easy. Now we're gonna lift it up, okay? Get no water. <laughs> it's kind of expecting water, but no water. And then we'll be able to access the switches here, which are coming from this side. So, yeah, we don't need any screws. But this is the switch panels here, okay? Now, if you haven't already, make sure you have the new toilet seat. The new toilet seat will come like this. It has an indicator for where your butt goes, but it also has uh, three connectors. So the three connectors here are gonna replace the other one. And then um, hopefully it'll come in properly. All right, so blue mm -hmm. connector clip. Yes. There's the yellow. yellow. All right, so just following the wires here, I've got one, two, and three. So black is gone. Then we've got, let's see, black here. Mm -hmm. This yellow is intertwined, it's going somewhere. It's going to this guy here on the edge. Three pin connector, but only with two holes. So the new one's actually a white color wire. Let's see, so that takes care of that one. So we got the yellow one already out. Okay, and then we've got this one here is out. And then we've got one last one, a two double black wire uh, with a yellow connector right there. And then now our seat is free. Oops. Okay, so now we're gonna put the other seat in and um, What's interesting is that wires are, are used to kind of secure the seat in place. So you want to be careful with that. All right, so now I've got the new toilet seat in here and we're going to loop the wire through. And what's interesting is that the, the wires actually are kind of a way to hold it in place a little bit. 
kind of like a tether almost. Now don't worry if the color sequence doesn't match. You just want to remember that this edge right here only has two pins. So even though it has a three pin connector, it only has two pins. That's just the way they design it. And you can see here that this wire here has two pins, but it's a three pin connector. So that will replace the other one. Now what you're going to do now is you're going to make sure that the seat comes in properly. All right, so in order for you to get this toilet seat to fit, you're going to have to unscrew this here. This is kind of like the sensor that detects whether the seat is up or down based on that. Or it may just be the soft closing um, hinge. So we're going to take that out. There's two Phillips screws here that you're going to need. Then we'll attach the seat and then we'll reattach this. And then we're going to hope it doesn't break again. It's all plastic. Okay, so let's see if my guess, yep. So that allows me to maneuver this guy here. You can take a look, zoom in. You can see that, you can see right here that this part can go in just a tiny bit, but just enough for us to work with uh, the seat. So I'm gonna push it in as much as I can. I push the seat in first. Now make sure that you take a look at the position here. Um, it's actually a certain way, okay? So you wanna make sure that your seat aligns with that position which means that it is now going to be flat. It'll now be slightly up, uh, it'll be flat, okay? So again, I'm gonna put the wires through. Wires through here, align the seat. Okay, and then put the mechanism in, into the hole and into the seat. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because what other channel is going to teach you how to fix a toilet seat? <laughs> and I totally forgot which way. So it can go this way or that way. I think it's this way. Alright, so the biggest challenge is to make sure that the toilet seat is in the right position. Otherwise, you will not be able to get the secondary soft clothes connector in there. Just to make sure that it works because if it doesn't, then you put it in upside down, okay? And that is gonna be this connector here on the bottom. That took us a super long time to get. Okay, so this right here, these two bolts, they make the soft close happen. So once you have it aligned, you'll be able to screw it in. All right, now the connectors are here. You're gonna make sure that they're replugged in. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to plug it in and then snap the whole assembly back. Since we're here, you're gonna look at your filter. You might as well look at your filter if you have ADD like me. You're gonna make sure that you want to clean your filter because this is what um, takes that poopy smell out. Okay, but in the meantime, we're gonna put the wires back, the tie clip back. Remember what I said earlier? So this is the three pin connector, but it only has two pins. So you might as well do that one first because the other connector is also three pins. So that's gonna go here. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you learn how to fix toilets. Yeah, so this is the two pin connector. So you're not gonna be in trouble here. But this one has three pins and has three wires. So you can see it's pretty easy to confuse the two. And then that will go in there. And this one will go, oh no, I forgot. This one will have to check. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make the assumption that the black connector will go to the black harness here. And then we are going to finish, except don't forget your tie clip. This will tie all the wires in together and then make sure just in case it happens again, we want to make sure we don't lose any wires or cut any wires. And then now all we're going to do is we're going to snap everything back in place. The wire harness through here and then it's going to pop right in here. Take a look at this right here. See this? This wire would get crimped, which would not be good. You need to be careful right here. So this is where the AC plug goes. Alright, so here we go guys. It's going to go upwards. Okay, you would normally think it goes that way because it's the back of the toilet seat, but for some reason it doesn't. Okay, push that wire in. This is the wire that could get you shot. So make sure you have it unplugged. Snap it in place. Okay, don't forget to clean your filter. And then you are good to go. Okay, so keep in mind this is a charcoal filter guys. So it will make everything turn black. And then, so now we're going to reinstall this and at the same time reinstall the toilet seat. Since we're here, we gotta make sure that you can clean up the toilet a little bit. And then of course we left our bracket um, in place, which makes it easy to reinstall the toilet seat. Make sure to cl close this guy here. 
because this one will drain the thing, but, but if there's no water, so you can make sure you close it, which is uh, clockwise. And then we're going to turn the toilet seat. It's gonna slide backwards. And if you're having problems with this, guys, then you want to just paint it a little bit more so the bottom, so it provides resistance, and then you'll be able to slide it in better. Uh, you want to probably make this flush with the toilet, so we are now screwing it in. Don't forget our water line, which we have right here. We're going to screw this in. And now we're going to check for debris on this guy here. So you can see how he's kind of, we want to make sure that the rubber, um, Stopper looks pretty good. Okay, and then now we're gonna screw it into here. If you need to change the washer, make sure you do so. And here's a little trick, guys. So I like to screw like this, okay, where the thing is on the bottom first, and then I'll take the whole assembly and bring it up. And that will provide me with the equivalent of a wrench. And then I don't need a wrench, okay? Now, of course, we're gonna wipe this and we are going to check for leaks. Okay, so we're gonna check for leaks by turning the water on. Under there, nothing. All right guys, so this is how we fixed and changed our USPA 6800 bidet. And we've changed the toilet seat in roughly about eight minutes. Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you later.